It's been a pretty tough night, pretty tough 24 hours, and uh, I guess that you're already aware that we've lost yet another local citizen uh, overnight, <clears throat> and that, of course, uh, uh, is sad, and our thoughts and prayers are with uh, his family and all those who surround him, his friends. When we uh, lose a, uh, a local resident, uh, a uh, no doubt loved family member, uh, it really hits home that this uh, potentially affects uh, every, every family in the country. So uh, on behalf of the federal government, uh, I can certainly express our condolences and the whole Darling Downs and Toowoomba community uh, to, uh, to uh, the family of, uh, of uh, the person that we've lost. Uh, this is what we want to prevent, obviously, through the coronavirus response. Uh, but to hear of that death is an absolute tragedy for our community. I think one of the really important things, messages that we want to give to the people of the Darling Downs is that their GP practices are still open for business and where we have GPs primarily to, uh, switching to telehealth, we're supporting that, we're providing laptops and webcams where we are required to and we want to, we're doing that for two reasons, we, we want to keep people safe but we also want to keep our doctors safe. So we want to make sure that, that through those telehealth communications that we've got the ability to triage people who do have respiratory symptoms. We're also working closely with Queensland Health to set up some community fever clinics and we're nearly ready to open a fever clinic in the community in Toowoomba and one in Warwick. We hope to get those up and running in the next week and there'll be some full information about that when the when they are ready to go. The fever clinics are staffed by doctors and, the, and nurses um, and the idea is that they are for people with mild to moderate symptoms uh, who, who, met, who meet the criteria for testing at the moment and the idea is that uh, people go to that clinic uh, and have a test if they meet the criteria and that way they're quarantined from other people who would normally be attending their doctor. There's a lot of people out walking every day and I'm pleased to see uh, that they're in groups of two or just family groups that I'm certainly aware of. People seem to be maintaining their distance uh, but certainly with my wife on a walk uh, late yesterday afternoon uh, we noticed uh, two car carloads of uh, young men uh, gathering together at a picnic table. It's not on. We have to stop the spread. So maintaining that social distance, maintaining uh, a, a maximum of two people together uh, in public at one time, unless you're a family group, is absolutely essential. So uh, I know uh, the Queensland Police Service wants to continue to spread that message, the Mayor does, and I do too. Please stick to these rules, they are for the good of all of us.